Hey guys, I'm back again and I have for you today the last and final part of my birthday book haul. Okay, this is going to be a little long, but I'm going to try to make it very short, as short as I can. So, first I have, this is Us by David Nichols. Us was shortlisted for the Man Booker this year and I think his last book... I can't remember the title right now. I'll put it here. Uh, the last book, um, I wasn't so interested in reading that one. But this one seems a little more interesting. And I was also curious to see why this book was chosen to be on the list for the Man Booker at all. Because uh, David Nichols isn't really known for writing uh, literary fiction. But anyway... So that's why I picked this one up. I picked up Midak Ali by Nagib Mahfouz. And as you know, at the moment, I am reading Nagib Mahfouz's Palace Walk, the first part of his Palace Walk trilogy. Uh, it's going very slowly because it's chocked full of details. So I'm reading it slowly all the way to the end of the month. But I picked up Midak Ali because it is also one of those books that people talk about as being uh, really really interesting uh, read. Then I picked up The Taste of Salt by Martha Southgate. Now I came across this one I think it was on Goodreads and it's been a while that this one has been on my uh, want to read want to own a list and I picked this one up because it just seems like the kind of a novel that it that could be you know an interesting in look into a black woman and on the back of it, it has a quote from Danielle Evans from um, Before You Suffocate Your Own Fool Self. She wrote a compelling story, a poignant exploration of the legacies our families leave us and the dangers of trying to deny them. So, yeah, that sounds really interesting. Then I picked up Caucasia and this one I also found on Goodreads. Now, Caucasia is a story about two sisters they have a, I think it's a black father and a white mother and their parents are very active in the civil rights movement and it takes place, uh, yeah, late 60s, I think 70s and you have an in-depth look into race from this point of view. I picked up the White Boy Shuffle and this one, um, yeah, I was intrigued by this one. I saw this one on, oh, I can't remember exactly where it was, somewhere online I saw this one. <clears throat> and it says, Paul B.D. hilarious and scathing debut novel is about Gunnar Kaufman, an awkward black surfer bum who is moved by his mother from Santa Monica to urban West Los Angeles. There he begins to undergo a startling transformation from neighborhood outcast to basketball superstar and eventually to reluctant messiah of a divided, downtrodden people. Okay, there's like some kind of sarcasm or something going on here, satire. So I thought I would pick this one up and see what it was all about because I haven't heard anyone talk about this writer. Then I picked up this lovely, beautiful edition, cloth bound, of Alice in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. And look at these fantastic pictures. Yeah. That was one of my that was one of my last purchases because I just thought, wow, this is this is beautiful with the little pink 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 uh, flamingos everywhere and everything. So yeah, I had to pick that one up. Then I picked up Edward P. Jones's Lost in the City. Edward P. Jones is the writer of The Known World, and he won the Pulitzer Prize for The Known World. And this is a collection of short stories around uh, African Americans, uh, adults, and uh, children, I think it is. So I thought I would pick this one up since I'm kind of like in the mood for the short story thing. It, it, it kind of works with my reading at the moment. It's all broken up into pieces. And it, yeah, it's complicated. Then I picked up Changing My Mind, uh, the Occasional Essays of Zadie Smith. Now, this one is extremely interesting because 
I'm just curious to see what's going on in the head of that brilliant Zadie Smith. So I figured I'd pick this one up and uh, find out more about that. Then I picked up, you know this one, the autobiography of uh, Malcolm X. And this is the Modern Classics, Penguin Modern Classics edition, which I think is a fantastic picture. And I like how that's done with the black and white. So I will be picking this one up surely in February for Black History Month because I know it's a shame. I haven't read this one yet. Next on my list is another autobiography. It's called Life in Motion, An Unlikely Ballerina, My Story of Adversity and Grace by Misty Copeland. Now, Misty Copeland, you know, is a uh, prima ballerina in I think it's in the New York City ballet company and she started her ballet career when she was like 12 or 14 years old and she just skyrocketed it right to the top with all of the people telling her she would never make it that she was too old and all the rest of that so I thought I would pick this up and I you know I'm an avid ballet fan I mean I did ballet for 10 11 years so uh, yeah, I had to pick this one up and see what all of Misty Copeland is about. Okay, then I picked up The Sun by Philip Meyer. Now, Philip Meyer, The Sun, this was recommended to me by Derek McDowell. Derek McDowell used to have a channel here on YouTube, but he doesn't do videos anymore. But I always look at his creep around on his, you know, to be read list or what he's already read and how he's rated them because he has excellent insight on what's good and what's not good. And this one he said is really good and that I should pick it up. And it's five, he gave this one five stars. So I hope to get to this one. It's a bit of a chunker, but the back says an utterly transporting novel that maps the legacy of violence in the American West through the lives of the McCulloughs, an ambitious family as resilient and dangerous as the land they claim. So that sounds very interesting. I love this cover too. It's pretty Wild West kind of thing. So yeah. And I picked up Dinner at the Homesick Restaurant by Ann Tyler. Now this one, let's see, this one I've been wanting to pick up for ages. Never have been in front of it to pick it up. And just uh, I think a couple of videos ago, Conrad over at Just a Dust Jacket mentioned that this is a really good Ann Tyler to pick up and so that just it was in my mind so that was one of the ones that went on my birthday list and I'm so glad I got it this is a used copy it's not too bad and I'm looking forward to get to this one this is really one of those uh family uh stories uh I don't know if it's really dysfunctional or if it's just uh family that's kind of reuniting that has been separate for so long. So I picked up Ali Smith's How to Be Both, which I think you've seen quite a bit here on BookTube for the moment. This was on the long list of the man Booker. Ali Smith is considered to be a very good LGBT writer, I think it is. So I'm kind of interested to get to this to see what she's all about because I haven't read anything by Ali Smith. Next I picked up uh, The Love Wife by Jish Gish Jin and this is a story it's I think Gish Jin is Chinese American and it says her name is Lan Lan she is Carnegie's main Chinese relative a tough surprisingly lovely survivor of the Cultural Revolution who comes courtesy of Carnegie's mother's will is Lan Lan a very good na nanny a heartless climber or a posthumous gift from a formidable mother who never stopped wa wanting her son to marry a nice Chinese girl. Rich in insight, you know, full of humor. So yeah, uh, I thought I would check this one out. It looks kind of interesting and uh, often like uh, Asian stories. Next five were given to me by the lovely Keisha over at Keisha Forsaken. Thank you so much, Keisha, for being so kind to send these for my birthday. You shouldn't have, this too much, Keisha, this too much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'll show you what she got me. She got me Fear of Flying by Erica Young. I love this uh, old kind of vintage looking cover. 
Uh, Fear of Flying is one of Erica Young's pretty well-known uh, novels. She's a feminist, so I'm looking forward to getting into this one. She got me Black Mamba. Now this is a bit of a joke because I can't remember how Keisha got this book. And she said, she showed the cover and I said, oh yeah. I said like, I, I want to read this just to see what it's like. It looks like it'd be kind of a, you know, a funny read. And the guy who wrote it, his name is Jack Simmonson. And this is what Jack looks like. He looks like he's had one too many. So that's probably why he came up with Black Mamba. So anyway, maybe one day when I want to light read, I'll pick this one up just to see what it's like. Next, she picked up for me Trumpet by Jackie Kay. And, you know, I like Jackie Kay a lot. Uh, she's a Scottish writer. I told you about her book Red Dust Road where she talks about her trips to find her real parents. That's what Red Dust Road is about. And this one is about... Uh, a jazz musician in the 1950s and 60s. So I'm kind of interested in that as well. Then she picked up for me A Fine Balance, which is also a novel uh, that I've heard a lot. Oh, I've seen people haul this one, but I don't think I've seen any reviews for this one yet. I hope that this one will be informative and not leave me out in the cold like Midnight's Children. I think it starts in 1975, India. So yeah, a fine balance. Last but not least, I received Big Breasts and Wide Hips. And this is by Mo Yan. And Mo Yan won the Nobel Prize for Literature in 2012. And this one is one that was on my list of books that I wanted to read and own. And it's mostly because of the title. I was very curious to find out what would be inside of this novel with this particular title. Yeah, so that's the last of my books. That is all of my birthday book haul. I have been extremely spoiled along the way. Probably won't have any other books or anything until Christmas and that is only if somebody actually gives me a book or gives me some money or an Amazon card or something like that so I can buy something. But anyway, I have plenty enough now to keep me juiced up for the next uh, six months. So that's all I have for you today. I am still reading Palace Walk and Before You Suffocate Your Own Full Self. And I'm also reading at the moment A Hundred Foot Journey because I need to have it read by Saturday for my book club. So the next time you see me, it will definitely be for a review or maybe even for a tag. Okay, bye.